Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make the Gru mini figurine charm. This is how it looks like. And if you haven't already, be sure to make the yellow minion and the purple minion. And all credits to these two charms, um, they go to craft, Crafts by Cream. And today I'm going to show you how to make, like I said, Gru. So in order to make this, I have a band count today. So I will put that in the link in the description box down below. So basically the amount of bands you'll be needing. So you'll need 22 skin tone bands, 33 black bands, two blue bands, two gray bands, and five white bands. So if you were to make the scarf, it's five white bands and then seven black bands. So, yeah. So without further ado, let's get started with the materials. You will need one rainbow loom and one metal tip crochet hook or a plastic crochet hook, whichever you prefer. You will also be needing, so I put the band amount of bands you'll need. So for the white bands, this is meaning the amount of scarf bands you'll need so like here is five white bands but if you want to use gray you can use gray as white bands so then you'll need five gray bands instead of white and then these are ls metallic bands so these are the gray bands from the ls metallic so thought i'd point that out but you can use any type of gray bands so to get started you're gonna take a single skin tone band and you're gonna place it into the center pin of your loom Next, you're gonna take double of your skin tone band and you're gonna place it from the left pin going up to the center pin. So it looks kinda like this. Then you're gonna take two more skin tone bands and place it on the right pin. So it looks like this. And then you're gonna go ahead and take two more of your skin tone bands and place it going from the right pin downwards. So then go ahead and fix your bands a bit so they kind of look like this and push that band down. Then you can take double of your skin tone bands again and then go down into the center pin and push that band down. Take double again and go from the left pin and then going downwards so it looks like this. Then you're going to take double of your skin tone once again and go down into the center pin. Next you want to close the head off so you're going to take again double of your skin tone, bin, skin tone bands and go from the left pin to downwards to the center pin and go ahead and repeat that same step. So take double of your skin tone bands and go from the right pin to downwards to the center pin. So now we created the basic head shape for the mini figure. So now what you're going to want to do is take double of your um, skin tone bands and then go downwards into the center pin. And it creates the next shape. So now your loom should look like this. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down on our pin bars. And we're going to begin making the body shape. So you're going to take double of your black bands and go from the center pin downwards to the left pin. And take double of your black bands, go from the center pin downward to the right side of your pin. So go ahead and push those bands down. Next you're going to take double of your black bands and go from the right pin downwards to the second right pin i don't know so now you're gonna take double of your black bands and go into the center pin then you're taking double of your left bands and i mean you're taking double of your black bands and going downwards to the left pin so oh wait okay so instead of these two bands you're gonna put double of your um gray bands so go ahead and put that into the middle so i was real i just realized i don't know why i put okay so you'll actually need four of your ls metallic bands i will put all the band amounts in the description box down below so i just realized you need two more of your ls metallic bands or whatever gray bands you're using for the center so you're going to take two more black bands and go from the right pin and downwards take 
double of her LS metallic bands and go ahead and go downwards. And then go ahead and take two more of your black bands and go from the left pin and downwards. Then you're going to take double of your black bands once again and you're going to go downwards on the right pin and repeat that on the other side. So double bands. So now your loom looks something like this. So now we're going to set our loom to the side and we're going to begin starting to create the hands. So in order to create the hands, you're taking a single skin tone band and you're going to wrap it around your hook two times, which should create three loops, something like this. Then you're going to take double of your black bands and you're going to slide this through the three loops and go ahead and reclaim. So you should see you created one hand and you're going to repeat that same step. So take a single black band. I mean a single skin tone band and you're going to wrap it around your hook two times which should create three loops and you're going to take double of your black bands and slide it through. So slide that capping band through and then go ahead and reclaim. So now you have something like this. So now you're going to go ahead and take your loom and take one of your hands and you're going to place it on this top right pin here and just release. And then you're going to take two more, I mean one more of your hands and then just place it on the left pin. So it should be the first area where the hands are, I mean where your right here is at. So basically, yeah. And now we're going to go ahead and make the eye bands. So in order to make the eye bands, you'll need two of your blue bands and then one of your skin tone bands. So you're taking a single dark blue band and you're gonna wrap it around your hook two times, which should create, actually no, three times, which should create four loops. So something like this. And you're gonna take double of a single band and wrap another single band, sorry about that. And you're gonna wrap it around your hook three times, which creates four loops. Then you're going to take a single skin tone band and just slide all these bands through. So there's that one. And then there's that one. So now it looks like this. And you can go ahead and we're going to place it onto this pin, this pin, and this pin. So these three center pins. And you're going to separate the eyes a bit and place one band and place it like that. Take the next band and just flip that in half and place that there. And then just take the band on your hook and place it there and release. So now it looks something like this. So now once we created the eyes and then the hands, and then I guess now we're gonna place our triangle bands. Actually, okay, yeah, so we're gonna place our triangle bands and then, yeah. So you're taking a single black band and you're going to make a capping band so you're taking it wrapping it around your loom so I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see so I'm taking it and wrapping it around my loom two times which should create something of three loops so you see there's three loops go ahead and repeat that on the other side so take a single black band wrap it around your loom two times and once more so there's three loops as a capping band so now you're going to place a triangle band going from this pin to this pin, but then you're going to make something like this. So it's kind of a different triangle hook. So now our loom should look like this. And then you're taking a single black band and just place it on your loom like that. So we finished with the body and now we're going to, I think, okay, I think we're done. So now I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can see. So now we're going to get started on the hooking process and then I'll show you guys how to make the nose. So I realized I forgot to count bands for the nose. So you'll need 24 skin tone bands. I'm going to update everything in the description box down below. Sorry about that. Oops. So anyways, um, you're going to take your hook now and we're going to take the center pins here these two LS metallic bands and we're going to hook these up and straight forward into our center pin of our loom. So now we're going to go into this capping band over here and we're 
reaching into that cap band of three, taking double of our black bands and just hook that forward onto our pin. And go ahead and repeat that same step on the other side and release. Now you're gonna pull back this um, triangle band and collect the bottom two black bands and hook that straight forward and repeat that on the other side. So pull that triangle band back, collect the two black bands and hook that straight forward. So now our loom looks something like this. And then you can go ahead and pull back this triangle band and collect the bottom two black bands and just hook that forward. So that's how our loom is looking like. Go ahead and repeat that same step. So pull back the triangle band, collect the bottom two black bands and hook that forward. Now you can go into the center pin and take these two LS metallic bands and hook that forward. So it may pop off like that when it just happened. It's because they're like jelly bands. I don't know how to say, but they're like a different look to the bands. So now we're going to pull back the um, hand bands and all that and collect the bottom two black bands and put our bands into the center pin and we're releasing. Make sure you grab both bands. And now you're going to do the same step on the other side. So take these two black bands and hook it to the left pin. So now it looks like this. So now we've finished hooking the body part to our grill. So now we're going to insert into the neck area here and carefully grab these two skimp tone bands and hook that straight forward. Now you're going to take the top skin tone bands and hook it from the right pin into the right pin. Insert into your hook in this area again and take these two bands and hook it to the left pin. So now we're going to stop right here and set our loom again to the side. So sorry, you'll need two more skin tone bands. And we're going to make the um, nose. So in order to make the nose, we're taking a single skin tone band and wrapping it around our hook two ti three times, which should make four loops. Then you're going to take a single band and you're going to double loop it. So just wrap it around your hook one time. And now you're going to take this and pull this nose capping band through that nose band and go ahead and carefully reclaim. So now we've made the nose and now you can fix it up a bit however you want. So after that, it looks like this. So now we're gonna take our handy dandy loom and we're inserting our hook into this pin here. But before hooking that straight forward, you're gonna want to take the bands and slide it through. So take this and just slide it off your hook and onto the skin tone band. And do that again so slide that through and then you can stretch the double bands out a bit and then just hook that forward so we basically placed on the nose so now you're gonna insert your hook into here take the two skin tone bands and hook that forward then you're gonna insert your hook into here Pull back the triangle band and take the bottom two skin tone bands and hook that forward. Go ahead and repeat that on the other side. So these two right bands and hook that forward. So now we're going to close the head off. So you're taking your hook into this band and hooking that into here. And repeat that again. So take the right bands on the right side, skin tone bands on the right side, and hook it into the center pin. And then you're carefully inserting your hook into everything, taking this single band. Make sure you collect the single band and carefully pulling it and then hooking it forward. Then collect this bottom band here and then just hook that off and forward. And now you're just going to slip knot. So now you can remove your grue off your loom and I will be right back. So now you're going to take your grue charm and try to fix it up a bit. So it should look something like this. Go ahead and pull out the nose and stuff. So now you're going to hide the slip knot. So insert anywhere on your head area and just hide that slip knot and pull that through. Careful you don't collect the eye band, but go ahead and just hide it. 
and try your best. So all we have left is to make the scarf. So collect your bands left over and you're going to take a single band and wrap it around your hook three, two times, which creates three loops. So it should look something like this now. So now our hook should look like this. And you're taking a single black band and you're going to slide that through the capping band and just simply reclaim. And you're going to take a single white band and slide that through and reclaim. So slide it through the two loops and reclaim. Take a single white black band and just slide that through the first two loops and reclaim. So we're basically making a single chain and if you want you can make this on your loom. So you're taking a single band and just slide that through the two loops and reclaim. Single black band, slide that through and reclaim. So instead of white bands, you, like I said before, you can use gray bands. So take a single white band and slide that through the two black bands and reclaim. Single black band, slide that through and reclaim. Single white band, slide it through and reclaim. Single black band, slide that through the two loops and reclaim. Single white band, slide that through, reclaim. And now we're going to take a single black band, slide that through, and reclaim. Now we're lastly taking our last black band and just slide that through the two loops and reclaim. But then we're making a slip knot. So you can pinch the top a bit, I notice, and then you can just make a slip knot. And it leads the band from not like curling up together. So now we've made our scarf and we're just going to hide this slip knot band. So honestly, I'm just going from anywhere and just carefully trying my best to hide it. And then just snuggle it up so it looks like this. So this is our scarf and we're going to fold it in half so like both points like meet together. And see this black band here, the third black band. So you're going to stretch it and place it onto your finger. And you're going to take this end and just slide it through. So see, you're taking this end and just slide it through that area and just release. So then you can just adjust your bands a bit. So you've made a simple scarf. And now what you're going to do is stretch the top area so then you can place it over Gru's head. So see, it looks like this, and mine just got undone. So basically what I found helpful is hold the right side band so it doesn't let go. Then you take your groove head and then just carefully place it on. And then you can just pull it, your scarf, a bit. And then just fix it up. 